Hey YouTubers, this is Kathy with Living Miracle Homestead. Tonight, I brought in my buddy, Mr. Oink. He's going to help me with a collaboration that I'm doing that I was tagged by uh, Stringfield Ridge Farm. And this, t this collab was started out by Jane Kelly. So anyways, getting on to the five garden tips and five minute collaboration, I am going to start my timer for five minutes and I'm going to hopefully get through my tips before those five minutes. We'll see. What do you think, Mr. Wink? Can I do it? No, I think I can do it. Are you challenging me? You are? Okay, let's see. Five minutes. Start. Number one. Let's race through these. Tip number one, don't plant anything that you're not going to eat. If you're not going to eat it, don't plant it because it's a waste of your time and a waste of your space. In small places like I have, my space is really, really important because I have a lot of fruit trees and a little bit of garden space. So I only plant the things that I'm really going to eat. And the things that doesn't cost me a lot of money to, to uh, grow. And that costs a lot of money at the store to buy. Make sure that you're going to plant the things that cost money for you outside of the home. For instance, potatoes and corn don't cost a lot of money. But they cost a lot to grow at home because they take a lot of nutrients out of the ground and a lot of space too where I could be growing more tomatoes and things that I eat a lot of and cost a lot in the store number two well oh, how's my time going oh I got I only got four min four minutes left number two collect manure and make compost well I collect all of my all of my chicken manure that I can when I was growing my broilers that's a hot manure so I mix that with the comp with the tree uh, sh uh, shavings or clippings or whatever you want to call it that the tree service brings me so I make my compost that easy now some of the manure that I save I collect from my rabbits, which is cold manure, and it is way, way, way easy to just throw it right in there on the plants. Number three, tip number three, um, know your seeds. Some seeds you may want to, to plant them in succession, like for instance, radishes. You don't want to pl plant a whole great big huge row of radishes and have them all harvested at the same time because you won't be able to use them in the manner that you want to use them successfully plant them plant them a little bit and then plant a little bit in, in a week or two or three it all depends on how much you use them so know your seeds and when to plant them some seeds you don't want to plant in the summer because it will be bitter and nasty tasting where in the cooler months it will taste nice and fresh and clean number four you want to thin your plants your seedlings and your plants you want to make sure that they have enough room and enough space to grow so that the inferior plants aren't sucking all the minerals and nutrients out of your soil number five you want to collect rainwater for your for your uh, plants. That's a great tip, isn't it? Yes, that is the tip of the day. That water that comes from heaven, oh, it is so good. It gives them all the nitrogen and things that they need and the, and the minerals that they need out of the air. And it's really good for your plants. Hey, you know what? Mr. Oink, you said I couldn't get this done in five minutes, and I still have one minute and four seconds. Wow. You don't have very much 
confidence in me, do you? Well, you need to gain your confidence, huh? Okay, we'll see. Now, I'm supposed to tag three people. I'm going to tag Brenda over at um, Duncan 1900. I'm going to tag Bud at Getting Started Homesteading. And I'm going to tag David over David's Mule Train Homestead. I hope that you guys will join me in this. And I enjoyed doing this. Did you enjoy it? You did? Cool. Maybe I'll have you on again. Bye now.